Hi guys, today I thought that I might talk about what I feed my fuzzies. I get a lot of questions about what I feed them and I thought that today I might do it because I actually just stocked up on ferret food. So one of the first things that I feed is this You Can Eat the Kitten Food. Where is it? Now keep in mind that we are in Australia and there really aren't that many choices when it comes to ferret food. Um, but I went through, so the next best option is kitten food. Um, I ended up going through a whole store full of worth of kitten food with the shop assistant and this was the best one that we found. Now the reason why it's the best is because it has the most meat products. Um, I know that a lot of other Kitten foods have a lot of amounts of protein in it as well, which might seem good, but it's not so much how much protein it is, but the type of protein. Because some manufacturers will add real meat, for example, but others might add feathers, which still count as protein. So it's really important to see what type of protein is included in the food. And I found that the Eukaniba kitten food was the best when it came to that. Then I also found this raw bath, and that's this has been talked about quite a bit throughout the ferret community in Australia. It's basically raw f food, so biologically appropriate raw food. And it is for cats, so that is what it looks like, and you just simply defrost it and then feed. I give them one patty for four ferrets, and that seems to last them for a little while. Uh, and I just give it to them overnight. So I tend to give the ferrets meat overnight and then some kibble throughout the day. Um, and they, they've been eating a lot lately and I think it might be because of the cold weather they've turned into little porkers. <laughs> um, but I really think this is fantastic. And th there's three varieties of the buff. And the three varieties are turkey, kangaroo and rabbit. I normally just buy the turkey and rabbit just because with kangaroo meat it tends to be very lean and ferrets need uh, a lot of fat in their diet because their metabolisms are so fast so fat is their primary source of energy. And then of course the most important thing for every single ferret to get is plenty of rats and or chicks or mice, um, rabbits, whole foods such as that, such as this. Really, really important. One of the most important parts of a ferret's diet is having these types of foods in there. But with this, um, it's just the whole animal and there's no other additives. So, and they get to chew on the animals as well, so they get to chew on the bones which helps to clean their teeth and gums so you have to get their teeth cleaned less and getting teeth cleaned for ferrets is really expensive. It cost us about, I think it was 600 or $800. So it's really worth looking after their teeth and this will really help it as well. And then they get other nutrients from the organs, um, you know, they, they ingest the fur bits as well, which helps them push through and clean their digestive systems. So the bones actually help to push all that fur through, but the fur actually cleans it all out as well. So really, really good stuff and highly recommended to feed whole raw foods. Don't feed them live um, because it is cruel and it, in places like Australia, for example, it is illegal to feed live food to animals. Um, plus in the wild, you know, at least the prey would have more of a chance of escaping. Um, but if we feed live food, then we kind of corner the prey. Um, so it's not really fair. <laughs> so um, really, really important. Probably one of the most important things to feed your ferrets. Definitely whole raw foods. Always defrost them properly to room temperature before feeding them because I've heard some nasty stories about bacteria or something which I, I don't really know too much about but apparently you shouldn't um, feed frozen foods to ferrets anyway. We're just defrosting the ratties. Uh. Another reason why you should defrost the rats is because it warms them up to body temperature um, and helps with digestion once the ferrets eat it. So the 
ferret's body doesn't have to worry about warming the food up before being able to digest it so it quickens the digestion process. Also always make sure that you get them from a reliable source because um, you don't want them to be ridden with diseases uh, which could harm your ferret. That is probably about it for now. Just thought I'd share with you what I bought today because um, I do get a lot of questions about it. Um, please leave your thoughts down the bottom. Uh, what do you include in your ferret side? I'd be very interested to know. I'm probably going to be um, researching this topic a lot more because I think there's a lot of misconception about what ferrets should be eating and what they shouldn't be eating out there. Um, and um, I've seen a few strange things being given to ferrets where they might not necessarily be necessary. Um, so I will be making more topics about, more videos about um, ferret diet, so stay tuned, subscribe. This is going to be a really great list, um, learning for all of us, including myself as well. I can't wait to learn a bit more about it. Um, and I'll also be um, consulting with Dr. David Vella about it. So I don't want to just get information from just anywhere. I want to make sure that it's the right information that I give to you guys. So stay tuned and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you next week. This week in the ferret world, we had Mr. Branston Pickles had a busy day digging a hole. Babs and Bagel were having an up together. How cute are they? And Miss Kimball decided to be a zombie ferret. Oh.